Located on the Wichita State University campus and a city recognized as the aircraft capital of the world, the National Institute for Aviation Research is a prestigious state-of-the-art aerospace research and development laboratory with global reach and expertise in research, design, testing, and certification. NIAR integrates university, government, and business entities in a cooperative effort to advance technologies. The Aircraft Structural Testing and Evaluation Center, located at Raytheon Aircraft Company, is a unique 46,000 square foot facility with, with nearly 10 million in reliable test equipment and access to an 8,000 foot runway. The facility provides NIAR researchers with the ability to conduct full-scale structural testing and aging aircraft testing for manufacturers and government agencies. NIAR's Aging Aircraft Laboratory is located at the Aztec facility. This laboratory is currently conducting research supported by the Federal Aviation Administration Technical Center to provide insight into the condition of typical general aviation in aged airplanes. These processes will see if there is any correlation between maintenance and the apparent condition of the aircraft and begin to address any aging concerns regarding these general aviation airplanes. The laboratory also supports the growing mission of the United States Air Force to maintain the fleet of aging military aircraft and houses ongoing efforts involved with advanced health monitoring techniques to detect the degradation of aircraft structures. Well, one of the primary purposes for the laboratory is doing structural teardown evaluations uh, to determine what the uh, structural integrity or the airworthiness of the aircraft is. So that's our primary job. Uh, first thing we do is uh, the inspections that are identified in the maintenance manuals for that airplane. Uh, these inspections range from uh, routine visual inspections of your structures, your aircraft wiring uh, systems, down to uh, very detailed inspections using various uh, non-destructive techniques of the critical structural areas. When we perform the detailed inspections, usually what we have to do is uh, take uh, most of the major aircraft sections apart. We have to remove landing gears, flight controls, uh, the empennage, the horizontal and vertical stabilizer, and the wings. We have to move all those from the uh, aircraft, which allows us to get access to the critical structural areas and able to perform the inspections. We use a ver variety of techniques so that it's not destructive to the uh, aircraft itself. They involve uh, magnetic particle, visual, liquid penetrant, ultrasonics, and eddy current. Once we've completed all the inspections and we get an idea of what the condition of the airplane is based on uh, maintenance instructions, then we're able to take a step further and do a teardown examination. Teardown examination basically involves a detailed disassembly of the major aircraft sections. Uh, we take apart all the wings, fuselage, and the uh, tail again, so that uh, allows us full access to every aircraft part so we can examine each part. Take for example, when we're looking at the wings, uh, and we take the skins off, take the ribs out and stuff, Every individual part of that aircraft, we do an individual examination on to see if there's any type of flaws on that aircraft or on that part. Uh, once we identify there are flaws, we go ahead and tag those flaws so that we can do a microscopic examination on it and determine the extent of the flaw. Once we've identified what parts have flaws on it and we need to go into the microscopic examination, we do paint strip and etch the parts so that we can uh, easily detect the extent of the uh, damage. And under the optical microscope, we determine, say, the size of the crack, what length of depth it has. If we find corrosion, we look at uh, the size of the area or the depth of the corrosion to determine that extent. Uh, we also take it a step further and use a scanning electron microscope to determine what type of flaw it is. Uh, flaws can be uh, caused by such thing as a fatigue crack. Uh, if we have an overload condition where uh, too much load has been applied to that uh, structural part, we can identify that. We can also identify the problem known as stress corrosion cracking. Uh, so uh, we take it, uh, I said, to the granular structure of the uh, part to identify what caused that flaw. What we want to ultimately achieve when we perform our evaluations is determining what areas have the uh, damage in it that we expect to find. We also want to find any damage in areas that are inaccessible that you would not expect. That way it allows the engineers and the uh, maintainers to know that their inspections are being performed where they need to be performed. And when you're looking at an old airplane, it also allows you to determine whether the structural integrity of the airplane is more we'll meeting the requirements of the airworthiness of the uh, Also located in the Aztec facility is the full-scale structural testing laboratory. This laboratory has the capability to conduct full-scale testing that not many aviation manufacturers can afford. 
This innovative arrangement between NIAR and Raytheon Aircraft will benefit industry, government agencies, and academia. Using the full-scale structural testing laboratory, researchers can assess structural performance and durability characteristics of an entire aircraft or aircraft assembly by performing full-scale or component static, fatigue, and damage tolerant testing. In addition, the full-scale structural laboratory has the capability to conduct a number of other types of testing, including pressure cyclic testing, hail strike testing, landing gear drop testing, coupon environment cycling testing, and tire burst explosive effects testing. All these test types are supported by the Structural Test Instrumentation Lab, which installs a variety of sensors to control test equipment and monitor the health of articles being tested. The full-scale structural test laboratory has the ability to take the requirements from a customer and uh, convert them to a uh, basically a simplified test setup using the requirements that the customer gave us. We'll take uh, a shear moment and torque requirement and basically turn that into a test setup. We take the uh, requirements from the customer and basically break them down to a series of individual loading points on the article. These requirements are uh, reduced down to a set of individual loading points on the test article and then these points are combined together to create uh, a series of loading systems that are controlled by hydraulic cylinders. The test article and loading systems are installed in a large standalone test fixture and then the uh, instrumentation lab installs a variety of load, strain, deflection or other instrumentation on the test article and in the test setup necessary to monitor the health of the test article. The test is controlled by a very specialized test control computer that we program in all the test loads and then all these test loads are applied to the test article in a very long spectrum that uh, is controlled by the computer. At the conclusion of the testing, we take all the data and the events that happen during testing and we put this into a test results report in a format that is suitable to the customer and then this is all delivered in a final package to the customer and this basically completes the start to finish process for the test. Both laboratories allow owners all over the world to learn more about their aircraft and how to make them operate safely over longer periods of time. The Aircraft Structural Testing and Evaluation Center is envisioned to grow in the coming years, and this site and the laboratories can accommodate that growth. No job is too small or too big.